Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. On July 25, 2023, police in Rock Island, Illinois, went to a residence to investigate a report that a 10-year-old boy had shot himself and his mother was hiding the body. Are you Miss Staples? Yes, how can I help you? So, we got kind of a weird phone call. Um, mm -hmm. Do you know Latricia? No. No. I don't um, know anybody out here. Some lady called DCFS. And, what? And kind of made some claims that you had a child that accidentally shot themselves? Absolutely not. No, I, not. It, it sounds crazy to me, too. That's what... Um, I am so sorry about this. My ex-husband... His new girlfriend, this broad is off the chain. I have went down to Rock Island and filed a police report on her. Okay. I have went and put a restraining order on her. What's her name? Uh, her name is Tony. This girl is never in it. She has so many different Facebook pages she stalks me from. She has made up different names, called me from different numbers. I have changed my number, tried to do everything I can. Right. Unfortunately, I can never seem to get them served because they're always bouncing around in the Chicago area. Oh, okay. They're not even down here. They're then? not even out here. And okay. it's been a constant... Wait, have we been here before? No, you've never come to my house for anything. I've been here for seven years and never had a problem in Rock Island. Yeah, I, I didn't know who you were. I work, so. I work at Genesis Hospital. I'm a patient care tech. I'm a student at Eastern Iowa Community College. Okay. I have a business in Davenport. This girl has made threats towards me on Facebook, posting her gun up, saying that she's going to come to my Addy. It's just never ending. Right. Um, so they, they made some allegation that you had a son, and he shot himself, Sir, and he's in your basement. come on now. You think, look, just, look just, where I live. I, no, I get it. Just so I can check the box off, can I look in your basement real quick, and I'll get no, out of here? No, you need a search warrant to do that. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm not about to have no, my I, blood rights uh, violated because like, someone makes your rainous allegations like this. I know. Like I said, it sounded crazy to me, too. I'm just up here seeing if, you know, we have to investigate it, you know, no matter how if crazy it sounds. If you want to do that, I would suggest you go through the proper protocols. I'm not about to let some crazy woman who has now has my husband mm -hmm. make... Uranus accusations like this to have my rights violated doesn't. No, I get it. That's what I'm that just, is not okay. I'm I just, have four that, girls in here. That's what I'm just asking. I'm not four children. I'm not trying to blame anything on you. I'm not saying this is true. I'm just. I was just asking. Okay. That's this all. is nuts. That's all it is. Okay. Um. I have four children. Her ex-husband's new girlfriend's been causing her issues. It's, she it's thinks that's who it is. It's ongoing. She's been harassing my provided. job. Harassing my place of business, harassing my children. I'm sick of it. <clears throat> okay. I've tried to get a restraining order against her, tried to get one against him. It's never ending. Yes. I cannot have any peace where I live. And you guys only have girls? Yes. Okay. I have four. Do you want to see them? No, no, no. They said it was a son. I was just curious Sir, if that's even true. It's not. Okay. I This This is, I'm just, I'm, it's a never ending story with these no, I, two. I get, like I said, I'm not I'm not trying to bother you or anything, but we get a call, no matter how crazy it sounds, we still got to come up and see if there's any truth. There. And this is crazy. It is. This is very crazy. Okay. I have been living here for six years. I never, my neighbors have never had a complaint. Don't you think no. if my neighbors would have heard some, some, something <laughs> like that, they would have made a call or said something to somebody? I would believe so, yeah. Just think about it. It don't make no kind of sense. This girl is psycho. Okay. She's harassed my job. Do you know? I, her phone number by chance? No, I don't. Okay. I don't know her phone number. Okay. All right. Well, sorry to bother you, okay? It's like I said, we get a call. We, we got to show they, up. They got, got to the point now where they don't have my phone number, so they emailing me, okay? I have spam emails here from these people. I'm going to go down here. The last one I get was, let me see. Does it have a name on it? Yes, it has his name on it. I have to go here. This is the last one I have. Okay. And this got to the point where they're emailing me because they don't have a contact phone number on me. Right. This is how bad the harass has gotten. Okay. But until I can get Rock Island to Cook County to serve them and actually find the address on them, right. that's going to be a problem. Uh... So they keep having me come back to court until I can get an address on them. 
I'll add some notes just in the call that I was here and that it's a harassment thing, so we don't have to keep coming up here. And... Thank you. All right. Sorry. Sorry to bug you. I just, like I said, we got a call. Even if it sounds crazy, we got to come see what's going on. Man, this, this lady, this, I don't even know what to say about her. <laughs> it's never ending. All right. I have doorbell cams here. All right, I saw that. So, I'm here. I ain't got nothing to hide. Okay. The next day on July 26th, Rock Island police came back with a warrant to search the entire property and find the body of the 10-year-old boy. Hello. Yes. Sushi? Can you come out? What's going on? Well, just step on out. I'll, I'll explain everything. Wait a minute. My kid is in here. Okay, I understand that, but we have a then, search then warrant we're for the house. We're asking for your cooperation to be up front okay. with us. Hold on. So step on out. No, no, no. step what out. What side of the house do you all have a search warrant for? The whole house. The whole, the whole house. house. So you need to step out. Step out. Okay, let me, I'm, I'm going to open well, the door. Okay, open the door. We'll, we'll all walk in casually. We're not going to tear okay, up your house down, or anything. So. Calm down. My sure, kids honey. are in here. Please. Okay. How many? Four. And where at in the house? They're upstairs. Okay, I just made them go upstairs. I don't want to scare my kids. Can we just, yeah, can we just calm down? These officers are going to walk in there with you. And I got a copy of the warrant here for you, honey. Can I see the warrant, please? Okay. And I can call my lawyer. Can I see the warrant before we walk no, any further? Okay. We're, I'm we're calm. In, we have a valid search warrant, yes. so. I understand, but you haven't let me see it yet, and you're walking through but my we're house. It's right here. here. You don't run I'm how calm. we out. You don't, I'm, yeah, I'm, you're not looking for Okay, okay, I'm trying to see. Hello? So, I need your phone, too. My phone? Wait, that's not my phone. Well, that's phone is taken. Hold on to that. So, okay. which which rooms are your kids in? Obviously not They're upstairs. Okay. I am very cooperative. I'm not fighting anybody. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. I'm just, look, I'm Tina. scared. My kids are going here. upstairs and checking. My out. kids are here. That's empty. Well, it's for an old here. Do you know why we're here? No, I don't. I don't know why you're here. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm really scared because my kids are upstairs and I don't know what's going on. Okay. I just, okay. Can I call my family to tell yeah. them to somebody to come? We're, you're you're not under you're arrest not under or anything arrest. like that, okay? That's okay. that's why I'm sitting here talking you're to not. you, okay? okay? I'm scared to death because right? I don't so, know what's going on. And so the reason we're here, okay, is because we're investigating a call that we we had, okay? The officers came out and talked to you last night, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, we have to handle that real seriously, okay? Because the allegations are that you have a son and that he's deceased and he's here in this house. Okay, so that's, that's where we're at right now. Do you have a son named Zion? No, I don't. You've never had a son named Zion? No. Are you claiming benefits for a kid named Zion? No. I haven't gotten any benefits for anyone. I just recently went through a situation where a young lady stole my identity and she falsely filed my taxes and my information and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I've been working with the FBI. I've been working with the IRS. There's been a lot of things popping up. And I'm um, have you had any interactions with DCFS up in Chicago? I did. Okay. False calls that were made. Okay. Correct. Um, one of the calls from 2021, DCFS came out to your residence in Chicago and there was a Zion Staples there. Along, along with your four daughters and then another young boy. We had kids in the neighborhood come over. So, Some of those kids that were implicated were not, in fact, our children. They were there. So you're saying there was a kid in your apartment that was not your your kid named Zion. I didn't say his Staples. name was Zion. No. Well, somewhere here, we've got to clear this up with this Zion yes. Staples. Yes. and I, Benefits, I, I, listen it, to it, benefits being put in his name that you're receiving from. I haven't received then, any benefits. And then also involved in this. 
I haven't received any benefits. That's what I'm telling you. Well, Someone has stolen my identity. I have proof of that. If you go in my phone, you'll be able to see mm -hmm. the messages between me and the FBI agent in Milwaukee. So I'm... So, but th so but this, this is separate from that with the DCFS call. Because somebody is obviously claiming benefits and getting no, no, probably no, no, getting no, food no, stamps no, 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 no. or something. But they're, but they're getting food stamps for your, your four daughters... And, and I've been having a hard time with that because I can't get any because of that and I've been working on it. Okay, are we going to find anything in your house that has Zion's name on it, birth certificate, social security card, or anything like that? Nope. Well, because we're seizing your phone, okay? I understand you're seizing so. it, but that's... Like, I should be able to at least call my lawyer still. I shouldn't be held in my own house and not be able to call my counsel. Well, are you requesting a lawyer right now? Because um, if you request a lawyer right now, we're done talking. And then what? You're going to arrest me? I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to search your house. We're going to search his house upside and down. Somewhere here, we need to get to the bottom of this Zion, this Zion thing. Oh, I can't and help this is coming from call. other. This is coming from other people. This is. I can't mentioned. help when look, people this, call and make look, allegations against me. People do this okay. every day out of spite, look, look, and I possibly had some visitors. It was. It was probably the summertime. So where would where would they get the name over. Zion yeah, Staples? Come up with Zion Staples. I don't and know. People son. make it up all the time. People make it up all the time. But see, DCFS does not come into your home and say, "Okay, have the neighbors over." And let's let's do all this personal stuff that affects you and your family in front of all these other people. They did. They do it with you. They did. And they do it huh. with your family. They did though. They very much did that. That doesn't make a lot of sense. And if you are claiming people back and forth amongst family members to get bigger returns, our biggest concern is that we can have somebody with law enforcement say, "This is Zion. This is what was what's going on, and he is fine." Because right now. We have a person that exists, but we can't lay eyes on him, and it's a child. Okay, what that's what they're saying. What is that noise? Are, 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 it's just are a noise. The, the beeping. So that's what we're looking at. So if this is what's going on, if you have a cousin, a sister, a brother-in-law, a friend, or whatever, claiming kids, or you're claiming them on the app, and you guys are splitting some extra money, I get that. The biggest concern that we have here is that we need to make sure that this kid is safe. And in, that, and in the time since the officer was here last night, and the time that an officer had called you back in June, and we can say, nope, she's totally clear. There's I'm no body here. There's nobody here. Stop being arrest. I'm telling you. First of What is that? First of For Zion Staples. Zion Staples. That's not mine. Sushi Staples. Child is, it's found in your room. We need, to get, we need to get this Stop figured out. Stop lying. this. It's over. Where is that kid? You need to come clean because we're not going anywhere. This is just, you're just going to dig yourself a bigger grave now. I asked you if there's anything with Zion's name in this house. You said no. I needed some extra help, okay? Yeah. That was it. What do you mean by that? I had a person that makes documents and it was just really hard like so does is, is Zion a real person no I can't call a lawyer and let them know you are here. I can't call a lawyer to come here to my house while I'm being questioned if, by you. If you if you want an attorney right now, we we, we can we'll just, just we just we'll just be done. We'll be done. All right. But the investigation continues. Okay. Okay. Don't so turn around for me. Oh no no no! I'm going to jail. What am I going to jail for? What have you I done? You just admitted to fraud. So now you're going to railroad me on fraud? Railroad you what? We're trying to figure out where your kid is. 
my kid. You're saying that he doesn't this exist. Is my kid. We'll cuff you in front, okay? This is embarrassing. Can I, I, I can get in the car. Do you got to take have, my dignity away and put me in cuffs? We're, we're not. We're not going to. We're not going to put him behind you, okay? We can. We're going to walk you to the car real quick, and then we'll get you out of here, okay? <clears throat> My neighbor, they've been knowing me for six years. You see that badge over there? I work two jobs at Genesis. I hear you. I, hear I you. go to school out here. Oh, God, this is embarrassing. I'm gonna walk on the metro. Back. Sushi Staples was taken into custody on July 26, 2023 and charged with concealment of death, obstruction of justice, failure to report the death of a child, and endangering the life or health of a child after police found the body of her 10-year-old son Zion in a garbage can in the family's garage. Authorities believe that Zion died in December of 2022 from an accidental gunshot wound while playing with a gun. On February 16, 2024, Staples pled guilty to endangering the life of a child in exchange for prosecutors dropping the other charges. Staples was sentenced to two years in prison with credit for time served. She was released from Logan Correctional Center on July 25, 2024 and her parole is scheduled to end January 25, 2025.